Jesus turns water into wine at Cana. Now, there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Who's the mother of Jesus? Mary. Mary. You both got there at the same time. That's right. And Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus, who is... Mary. Mary, said to Jesus, they hadn't got any more wine. But Jesus told her, woman, what have I got to do with you? My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you to do. There were there six stone water pots, which the Jews used for purification, holding 20 to 30 gallons each. That's very large stone pots. So how much could that hold? Between 20 and 30 gallons. How high is that? Well, that's about half the height. They were probably about half the height of a person. And so they filled these water pots to the brim with water, and Jesus told them, now go and pour this out and take it to the chief of the feast, the man who was running the wedding party. And they took it. And when the master of the feast tasted the water that had been made into wine, not realising where it had come from, although the servants who poured it out realised, the master of the feast called the bridegroom, that's the man who was getting married, and said to him, Usually men set out the good wine at the beginning of the feast, and when men have drunk well, then the wine is not so good. But you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed in him. So it just shows how humble Jesus was. He didn't say, da, 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 I'm going to do a great miracle I'm going to solve your problems. He solved the problem of the wine running out just very quietly and in a way that only the disciples realised. Now, this is a great example for us in trying to be humble about things and not showing off and also realising people's need that, oh dear, these poor people, their wine's run out. Well, he could have thought, well, you've had some wine, you don't need any more than that. But Jesus was sensitive to them in, in their situation where they were at the time. And what this shows is that Jesus can change the most ordinary things, that's water, into the most wonderful things. And of course the, the wine represents the blood of Jesus.